Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Ashley. Today we are going to be embroidering a sweatshirt, like a fake designer sweatshirt. I did another one of these actually. It'll be linked right here if you want to check it out. It's basically the same thing, but I'm going to be doing a different like designer for this one. A lot of people really, really like that video, so I thought that I would just do another one because why not? It was a lot of fun to do. People liked the video and there was actually another sweatshirt that I already wanted to make, so... Why not, right? People were asking how I find the embroidery files and I did link the website that I used in the comment section of that video. But also if you just Google like the designer and then like logo embroidery file, there's a bunch of websites that have them, different ones, and you just download them to your computer and then onto a USB stick. And then yeah, you'll see what I'm about to do. But that's pretty much how you can find like any of them. Not every website has every single designer. So if you're looking for a specific designer, it might just be better off to like Google it, you know, so that is what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be making a YSL sweatshirt I want to make it look like vintagey looking but it's kind of gonna be the same as my other one where I have a Light purple sweatshirt and I'm gonna be doing a light purple but slightly darker purple like YSL Print on it. You know what I mean embroidery. <laughs> this should be a pretty quick video Just embroidering things in general goes pretty quickly So make sure you stick around to the end to see how it turns out and let's get started Also, if you like this shirt check out this shirt and a lot of other Really cool clothes that I got in my Depop slash Poshmark slash like one item from eBay haul that I did in my video my last video Which will be linked right here Okay, now let's get started. <laughs> there are a ton of websites that you can get these downloads from, but I actually got this one from Etsy. There are a ton on Etsy. You just pay a few dollars and get this instant download link, and then you download it, and it gives you all these sizes from two to seven. It's really important to get a variety of sizes. This is my five by seven hoop that I'm using. Um, and then once you open one of the sizes in the files, it gives you all these different download options. And I opened PES because my embroidery machine takes PES, but different embroidery machines take different types of files so it opened in the app stitch buddy which is a free app but there is a maximum number of stitches that you can export so i ended up paying 50 dollars because this went over the maximum number of stitches totally fine it's like a forever download and then i'm just saving that onto the usb it's important to find a download that has different types of file options in case you don't know what files your embroidery machine takes and also different sizes because i downloaded the five inch one so there it is on the USB, but it's the five inch one and it ended up being way too big for my embroidery machine, which I kind of expected, but that's fine. Um, so I ended up having to go back and do this a few more times with different sizes. So I did it with the 4.5 and the four, and I think I ended up doing either the four or the 3.5, but there's the final product. So it is a lot smaller than I wanted it to be. So I just pressed the size and increased the size, which you can always do, but it's definitely not as big as I wanted it to be. Totally fine though, um, that's just a restriction that like a home embroidery machine has. But there I made it as big as I could and this is the sweatshirt that we're going to be embroidering. It's like this light purple color, super pretty. And I am figuring out where I want the placement to be and then instead of making a mark with like chalk or a pencil or whatever, I'm just twisting it around so that I know where I want to center it. And then I have my tearaway stabilizer that I'm going to put against my sweatshirt. So I'm prepping my embroidery hoop, putting the stabilizer in. This is honestly the hardest thing ever for some reason to get the stabilizer right and to get the hoop like centered and straight. That's like so important and it's so difficult. So I'm basically sandwiching the sweatshirt and the stabilizer in between the front and back of the hoop. The back of the hoop is underneath of the sweatshirt and the front of the hoop is on top. The front of the hoop has these two lines where you can find the center of it so i'm just lining up that little mark hole not a hole but like that dot that i made by twisting it um, with those two lines to make sure that it's nice and centered and also nice and straight and then i'm just going to push that down and tighten it and then i can start loading it onto the embroidery machine which is so difficult to get all that bunched up fabric underneath of where the needle goes I'm just locking it in place and I was deciding between these two purples and I went with this lighter one because I liked the contrast but not too much contrast and then I'm threading my machine and prepping everything on my screen and then I'm gonna put my presser foot down and press start and then I can press this green button and it'll just go on its own and I think it's amazing 
Uh, it takes about 11 minutes. This one took about 11 minutes. So I was literally just eating chips, like watching it do its thing, you know? And I thought by increasing the size, I would actually mess up the stitches and there would be like huge gaps in the stitches because that's what I was always told. That's what I heard when I like watched videos and stuff, but there were no gaps. Um, so it actually worked out really well. And it was totally fine that I downloaded the way smaller size because I could make it a little bit bigger by increasing the size without compromising the stitch quality, if you know what I mean. There was no gaps or anything. So it's all done. I'm just gonna press my scissor thing and cut my thread. And then I'm gonna unhook it and pull all that fabric out again. Just so difficult all the time. <laughs> there's like so much fabric. Also when you're doing it, make sure there's no fabric underneath of like where you're gonna embroider. That's so important. <laughs> Um, and then I just took my hoop off, cut the little thread, and now the most satisfying part, tearing away my tearaway stabilizer. I love it. That's my favorite thing about tearaway stabilizer is taking it off. And then I just used some scissors to get the little pieces that I couldn't really tear off. And here is the final product. I actually really like the way that it turned out. I don't mind the smaller design, but I definitely would have liked it bigger i think it just would have looked more like realistic uh if you know like those like vintage ysl sweatshirts that was kind of like the vibe i was going for and also i think i could have moved it up a little bit maybe to like here and it would have looked better but i mean overall i'm really happy with the way that it turned out oh i also want to make a disclaimer that i forgot to make in the beginning um this is copyright infringement <laughs> or trademark infringement whatever um it's illegal and just so you know i'm not even sure if you're supposed to be using it for personal use but if you do make this sweatshirt um i'm just letting you know that you cannot sell it that's illegal i don't know if they're gonna come after you probably not i mean they're pretty big companies but i just wanted to put that out there so you know <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you would like this video and make sure that you subscribe to see future embroidery videos sewing videos other fashion videos just more videos from me if you like watching my videos i don't know sorry this is such a short video um hopefully it was helpful though hopefully you got some useful information out of this hopefully i don't know you just enjoyed watching it if you did if you weren't looking for information yeah thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all on wednesday in my next video bye